Progressive Rashida Tlaib went on CNN after her victory in the Democratic primary in Michigan's 13th Congressional District, and she was asked whether or not she would vote for Nancy Pelosi as leader of the Democratic Party in the House. When you were elected uh, formally in November, you will have a vote as part of the Democratic Caucus as to who will be the next Democratic leader, whether it be the minority leader or the Speaker of the House. Will you vote for Nancy Pelosi? Probably not. Probably not. That's my answer. No, probably not. Why not? Uh, I, look, I think uh, for me, I need someone that, um, uh, again, is connected with uh, this, the different levels of poverty that's going on. The fact that there are structures and, and barriers for mm. working families in my district uh, that need to be dismantled. And supporting big banks and supporting efforts that I don't think put the people first uh, is troubling. And I need somebody that fully understands why I'm so passionate about those issues, why is I'm she? so uh, eager uh, to to make sure their voices are heard. And at this point, even people back here, right at here at home in Detroit, in the Metro Detroit area, uh, they don't feel like they're being heard. And mm -hmm. I think that starts at the top with leadership. Is she one of the people you're referring to as a Democratic sellout? Look, I don't know. All I can tell you is mm. she doesn't speak about the issues that are important to the families of the 13th Congressional District, mm. and they are a priority for me. They are the ones who put me here. They're the ones who put faith in me, and I have to listen to them, and I have to make sure that I never back down and that I don't sell out personally. And if that person uh, that is in leadership is still okay to take away the transparency mm. requirements for big banks, uh, to making sure that my families are not being discriminated by, uh, you know, health care uh, being discriminated for getting health care coverage, or more importantly these days, is about the fact that mm -hmm. half of my families don't own their own homes in the 13th Congressional District because the discriminatory practices by big banks are still happening, and no one is doing anything about it. This is happening right now on their watch, and mm -hmm. no one is talking about it. All they're doing is taking away. Uh, you know, look at Dodd-Frank. I mean, look at what has been done just in the last 12 months in Congress. Mm -hmm. And again, that was done on specific people's watch and specific right. people's people's leadership and that's something that I just can't forget. So I agree with Rashida. Nancy Pelosi should not be the leader in the House. And Rashida mentioned two very important reasons as to why she would not support Pelosi. First she talked about wanting someone who understands poverty. According to UC Davis's Center for Poverty Research, in 2016, 43.1 million Americans lived in poverty. Over the past four decades, the middle working class of this country have seen a significant portion of their wealth get transferred to the wealthiest people in this country. So much so that, as of 2016, the top 1% owns four times as much wealth as the bottom 80%, aka the middle working class of our country. Now, as we know, money in politics has played a huge role in this. Most of our politicians in Washington fund their campaigns via the wealthy and corporations and thus represent the wealthy in corporations. And that includes Nancy. She's part of the problem in this regard. She does not fund her campaign the right way. Rashida also talks about Nancy's support for the big banks as being problematic. And let's remember, the American people were forced to bail out the major banks on Wall Street as a result of the financial crisis of 2008. The big banks were considered too big to fail so the American people had to bail them out. And that should have never happened. If they are too big to fail, then they are too big to exist. These big banks have far too much economic and political power, and Rashida is right in wanting a leader in the House who understands this. The next leader in the House should be a progressive. Now Nancy calls herself progressive. To that end, if the Democratic Party is increasingly younger, more female, more diverse, more progressive, should the Democratic House leadership look that way? Well, I'm female, I'm progressive, I'm a <laughs> and the rest of them, what's your problem? <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. But Nancy doesn't even support Medicare for all, and thus, guaranteeing health care to all of our people as a right even though most Americans, not just Democrats, most Americans already do. Rashida is right. It's time for a change. It's time for a progressive change, a progressive agenda, and a progressive leader. It's time for someone who actually represents the people, not the wealthy and corporations. Hey guys, if you want to help out this show, you can follow our various social media links. 
Also, we have a Facebook group that you can join as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, you could do that as well. All right, guys.